Insurance Hunter commissioned a survey that looked at what some of the problems were around uh, school safety zones. Uh, as an insurance brokerage, we do believe in uh, assisting people that are coming to Insurance Hunter. Obviously, that we believe they can come and they can get various quotes, but we also want to try to talk to them about prevention and safety because accidents are the leading reason why insurance rates will go up. And the top offenses were one was driving too fast, uh, another was uh, ignoring the crosswalk and uh, going through, uh, going past uh, crossing guards and ignoring their signals. And also people are still texting and talking on their cell phones. One of the, the items that came up recently at a panel we had from uh, actually a police officer in Toronto was that, you know, seeing a flag flying at half mast at a school we shouldn't get to that point. We need to start making change now and addressing these issues of school safety so that we can avoid the problems of injuries around the school. You know what, our kids should be number one. Uh, and when it comes to dropping or picking them up at school, make sure that you put your cell phone away. It's, you can wait that extra 10, 15 minutes, make sure your children are safe and also make sure other children are safe around schools as well. And another safety tip that we want to encourage people to consider is walking to school as well. So uh, if you live close enough, uh, maybe either walk with your children or uh, empower your child to walk to school on their own. And again, it's about education and it's about, you know, looking at your own individual child and what they're capable of. Another option to look at is carpooling. So if we can reduce even three or four cars and drop that down to one, that would be uh, one step towards uh, making our community school zone safer.